In this tutorial, we will discuss a one-way analysis of variance in SPSS. Remember that a one-way analysis of variance is a method for determining whether a difference exists among several groups, rather than doing several t-tests. For example, using our sample data set, we might be interested in whether children from different ethnic backgrounds get equal or different amounts of exercise during the week, whether they watch an equal or different amount of TV, and whether they differ in the number of books read at pretest. Because more than two ethnic groups are represented in our sample, we must do an analysis of variance. In SPSS, we select Analyze and Compare Means, then click on One Way ANOVA. In the box that says Dependent List, we enter those outcomes of interest. TV hours, exercise, and books pre. Note that you can enter as many outcomes as you like. In the factor box, we enter ethnicity. We also want to obtain additional information, so we click on the Options button and check the box next to Descriptive Statistics, then Continue. We also want to conduct post hoc tests to see whether there were any significant differences and where they lie. So we click the post hoc button and then select the post hoc test or tests we want to conduct. Let's choose Bonferroni as it is a moderately conservative test. Click Continue. Now click OK and the outcome window appears. The first box is descriptive statistics for the two outcome variables. We are most interested in N, which is the group size, mean, and standard deviation. The next box is the results of the ANOVA. Look first at the column that says SIG. This is the p-value. Note that the p-value for both hours of TV and hours of exercise is very large. It's much greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, there is no significant difference among the ethnic groups in terms of how much TV they watch or how much exercise they get per week. We can't go any further for these two variables. And in fact, taking a look at the means, we can see that the means are fairly comparable. However, there is a significant effect of ethnicity for books pre as the p-value of 0 0.02, rounded to two decimal places, is less than 0 0.05. The f-value for this variable is 3.87, and the degrees of freedom are 3 and 36. Remember that both degrees of freedom values, between and within, are presented when writing out the results of the analysis. This tells us that there is some difference or differences among the ethnic groups in the number of books read at pretest. To determine where the differences lie, we look at the results of the post hoc test a little bit further down. As you can see, post hoc results compare all possible pairs of ethnic groups to determine which of the means are significantly different from each other. It appears that Caucasians differed significantly from African Americans p equals 0 0.04, and from Hispanics, p equals 0 0.02, rounded to two decimal places. We can then review the means to determine which group in each pair read significantly more books. In this case, Caucasians read significantly fewer books than both African Americans and Hispanics. This concludes the tutorial.